Hi, I want to share with you uh, my aquaponic build, or hydroponic build rather. Um, here you can see the uh, A-frame design. I'm using sewer piping uh, with the end caps. Um, <clears throat> this is not my original, it's not my idea. It came from another YouTube video. You can search for A-frame hydroponics. There's a couple little tweaks that I did to it. Um, specifically, one of them is I want it to be able to level. So there you can see I have a bolt going through to a, uh, uh, on a piece of wood so I don't ruin my deck. And underneath it, I'm not sure if you can see, but there's a little nut that I just screw down into and I can easily adjust it. Uh, as you can see, these two pipes on the bottom, they don't have anything, any holes in them yet. Uh, because this is new, I'm trying to see what the spacing requirements might be. You can see the top one here, we are, already have a few plants growing in them. Um, there's 18 holes coming across the top pipe. I expect that to be my starter. The next pipe down has 13, and then the next one below that has 11. This is exactly duplicated, same quantity of numbers uh, and everything right on the other side. And uh, here you can see that um, there is liquid and it's about half full. <clears throat> I did originally design this so I, on the end caps they're slightly off center uh, so that I could adjust the flow. But what I found is I actually needed to glue them on because they would start to leak. So all these are glued on and uh, sealed in that way. In terms of the tank, I'm using uh, this I picked up at Costco. It's about a 27 gallon tank and uh, it basically just pumps up the nutrients uh, through this hose down at the bottom here. It's coming out there, coming in here, and then it starts going up. And what I did was I did the run up first and you'll see that and then I have it tee off. Um, the reason I have it tee off there to this uh, valve here is because my thought originally was that I'd be able to connect the secondary system. The pump that I'm running in here is a 550 gallon per hour pump. So one of the things that I did was also I want to be able to relieve the pressure off the pump and also create some aeration and I did this with this valve so it comes back, tees off and actually comes back into my tank and creates aeration for me. <clears throat> and I can control that as I need to. So one of the things is each pipe comes down, it just comes in and drains right into the bottom. You can see I couldn't, I didn't figure out a better way to do this. I just zip tied it. This pipe here actually does not hold that much water. It just immediately by gravity drains right into the tank. One of the things that you'll notice on that bottom pipe, if I show it to you here, is one end just has an end cap. The other one has a 90 with a little cap on top and the purpose of this cap is so that I can just add nutrients or uh, add more water into the system directly from here. I found that trying to get to that bucket and trying to open it up every time and fill it up as I need is just too much work with all these pipes running down. Each of these pipes comes in. You can see here, I can pull this one out, it's not active. It just drops in there um, and then just drains uh, into the bottom there. See that? All right, so that's one side of the system. The build itself is actually quite simple. There are three triangles and then they're all connected with um, two, uh, actually this is two by three, not two by four, running across. And then I have a little bracing in the center the pipe here runs straight across on the top. You can see that how that is. I haven't cleaned up those uh, extra hangers. Those hangers were actually quite amazing and I, I, it took me a little while to figure them out. They're called J-hooks um, and they're specifically for hanging pipe and I found these at Lowe's and I ended up getting the four inch J-hook pipes at Lowe's for a dollar a piece, which I thought was a great deal. So it takes three dollars to hang this, uh, you know, what comes out to about an eight or nine dollar pipe uh, without the end caps. These bulkhead fittings um, were 
from Amazon, and I found those in a 10-pack. And the 10-pack was the best deal. It ended up being about $2.50 each. They make a nice tight fitting. Um, one of the things you'll notice, and I'll come here to the one that's not active, is I designed this so I could actually remove it. Um, there's enough, because it's not a pressurized system here, it wasn't necessary to uh, glue this in. So none of these are actually glued. My idea is that at some point, I'm going to want to be able to take these and take them, all the plants, and put them in that garage over there and uh, run them on the, during the winter, have some grow lights in there, but I can still reuse all the tubes that I've built out and the uh, connectors and everything in that case. All right. So here... As the pipe comes across, you'll see it tees down. It goes to a drip connector that has four hoses on it. Make sure you buy the right hoses. I ended up buying a soaker hose, a quarter inch soaker emitter hose, and not realizing that that's what I was. I had to go back and replace it. This is just a straight pipe, a quarter inch that goes in and just hangs in there. And if you look, once I pull this out, you'll see that it just continuously is always pumping water. This, this system does not turn on and off. It is always pumping water through here. Now, one of the advantages that I think about this system, and I'm hoping it's gonna be accurate, is that because there's always water in the um, tank there, and I'm not sure you can see it because it's dark, um, if I have a power failure, the roots are still gonna be able to be moist and get, get to the water. I think that's my chicken over there trying to say hello. Um, so that way the roots won't dry out, the plants won't dry out, everything will be uh, good. So I have three of these. One, two, the, the other ones are not hooked up as I need them. Nice thing about these is they do have a cap on them. So when you're not using it, um, you just seal it off. The other nice thing is they actually have a flow rate adjuster on them so that you can adjust the flow of how much water you want coming out of those uh, pipes. Now, as you come down, you'll see that I actually connected up um, a valve here. Original idea was um, that this valve would just allow me to drain the system without having any complicated uh, way to do it, um, and it would just drain into a bucket. Um, the system originally was in my backyard, so it was down there, uh, right in the middle. I decided to actually move it up onto my balcony uh, for a couple reasons. One is I, I tend to throw some parties and I didn't want to have to move it every time. Um, I was thinking I'd put rollers on it and that kind of thing, but then leveling it would be a problem. So here, I moved it up here, but then, you know, trying to take the water down to feed my plants, because once this water, I change it out, I can use that water for other plants I have in the yard. So what I did was I connected it up to a hose. I used the existing... A hose that I had bought to connect the drain or the um, uh, tank and then I came over here and I actually connected it to a 90 and that 90 goes down below and in a second I'm gonna walk down there and I'll show you what I did here all right so here we are down at the bottom the 90 I showed you up below up above comes across and it connects here now, I haven't run the pipe. My plan is to run that pipe all the way around my house. And what it, that's going to allow me to do is the gravity will allow me to then have this go to a faucet. And this will allow me, because I have a quick connector, I can easily hook up a hose to it, go and water the plants as I need to without having to get buckets, carry them around, do all that kind of thing. So there'll be three of these uh, faucet bibs. Um, one is there, the rest will be along the side of the house. I'm gonna go ahead and take it around the other corner and then it will go around to the front of the house and basically I'll have uh, three spigots that I can pull water from um, at any time and, and grow them. So what did I use in terms of building out this system? Um, they are uh, three inch net pots, four inch pipes, four inch end caps, the bulkhead fittings from, uh, I got online at Amazon, um, 
you know, and then the wood I got at uh, Home Depot. So just piecing everything together as I, as I could, you know, took a number of trips to uh, Home Depot or Lowe's trying to get all the pieces that I want. But that's what I ended up doing. Hope you enjoy it, and uh, thanks for watching.